Tony Omoibuzi, thank you very much for spending a little bit of time with us and, and answering a few questions. My pleasure. Um, the first thing I wanted to ask you is if, if you could imagine I'm a startup researcher, I'm about to do my first solo research project, um, what would be your main methodological advice for me before I go into this? It's a great question. Um, I think my main methodological advice would be to, to get as many articles as you can, um, good examples of articles. Um, across different fields, uh, but particular the fields where you know um, where you're located, and get a feel for how you know mixed method researchers um, not only conduct their studies but write up their studies. Um, so that would be the, the first the first advice, and then secondly to find out um, the articles that are most aligned to your area of research, and um, from there kind of get to know, get really familiarise yourself with the techniques that they use and then seek out textbooks that provide, that elaborate on these techniques. So it's really understand the field before you get your hands dirty and start right, to right. for yourself. Right, because um, like many of us in the mixed me method <coughs> field, we really believe that um, asking good questions is a really important step um, and, and it's a big contribution that we think mixed method research can have. So, so rather than coming out at it with the, with the attitude of, you know, like some people say, I want to do um, quantitative research, or I want to do qualitative research, it's, it should be more question, what are the important questions in your field? And then what techniques can be used to address those questions? Sure. And how, how do I come up with a question? Um, a lot of times, well, depending on what, what, what type of, what your background is. So if you're a practitioner, then there's a good chance you'll have when they made questions, burning questions, it's really a question of trying to um, refine those questions and, and make it as uh, meaningful as possible. But by speaking with other colleagues, speaking with peers, and um, those are kind of ways that you can see what are the really pressing questions in your field. Okay. So. When you survey research methods, what, what kind of excites you these days about developments in methods? Just the possibility. This, you know, what the mixed method offers is the, such a range, of, so much flexibility, and such a range of techniques. Um, and then on top of that, you have the computer software that can now <coughs> really increase the, you know, the analytical uh, potential mm -hmm. to solve any any you know research problem um, available. And and so that's that's really exciting to me. Um, I remember in my earlier days when I was a student myself, all those years ago, um, the computers were extremely limited in what they can do. Uh, but now you've got all kinds of visual displays and um, a lot of the computers can interface one another. Sure. You can use stuff with one software and then import it easily to another software. And so it's really, really, really exciting to me. When you look at um, research methods, I mean, that's kind of flip, flip it over. Are there things that worry you? Are there kind of common themes or, or practices in, in, in methodology that, that you are anxious about? Um, I'm a bit worried um, about how far some people expect to learn how to do mixed methods. Um, <coughs> as you know, to be an effective mixed method researcher requires a good knowledge of both quantitative and qualitative um, techniques. And I do have, I still, I still see some people who, you know, are strong in one area but not in the other, but then they automatically expect to be able to be really effective as a mixed method researcher. So I hope that kind of changes. Um, another worry you have, and that's kind of an academic problem that seems to be in many institutions, is there seems to be a dominance of one over the other, um, either quantitative or qualitative. So a lot of students graduate being strong in one but not the other, which is a, you know makes it difficult for them to be really effective mixed method researchers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tony Obisi, thank you very much. Thank you.